Hello violinist, Sophie Lilly here. I'm going to be playing Waltz by Brahms for you today. violinist Silky Lily here playing Waltz by Brahms. In this piece there are a lot of slurred bows to create that waltz feeling. If you don't know what a waltz is, it's a dance. Feel free to look it up. It's what you'll see in some of the old-time movies um, where the ladies are wearing the big ball gowns. Um, Brahms is a very well-known composer um, so the beauty of this piece is with the crescendos and the decrescendos, there are already notes that are adding up to it. So when it crescendos, we're going up into the E string to hit that high G. When we're decrescendoing, we're going back down to hit the low G on the D string. So Brahms did a really beautiful job here of working with the instrument and the dynamics so we don't have to do as much work. So what's most important here for us as violinists is to create the feeling, to create that mood, create the um, synchronicity of the piece so that it feels like it's a, a whole movement. Um, in this piece, there are again staccato notes with a line over it, and that means we hold it a little bit longer and then put a um, stop between the two notes. Um, for this piece, it's um, more somber. It's called, in the very beginning, it has the word dulce, which means sweet. We really want this piece to be very uh, sweet and delicate um, for the listener's ear. Um, and again, creating the um, creating feeling with the dynamics is where musicality is at, is what it's all about. So even though this piece re repeats itself a number of times, the ability to create the dynamics is what's going to give it that uh, diversity and the feeling that we're looking for. Uh, remember here with the decrescendos in certain phrases, there are retardandos, and which means it's the end of a phrase. Think of it as a conclusion at the end of an essay. Um, you want it to kind of come to a synopsis, and then you start again in the intro. Um, so that's the beauty of telling the story again. So I hope you all enjoy, and please subscribe to my channel if you want more videos to come, as well as leave me any questions or comments that you might have so that I can help you along the way. Um, anything from technique to even the silliest of questions that you might think aren't important, they are always. So have a great day, guys, and remember, practice, practice, practice. That's what gets you to Carnegie Hall. Bye.